Hello everyone, Siege Link here, back with another episode of Sh Total War Shogun 2. Getting very close to Realm Divide here. I'm a bit worried this guy might betray me. Because for an odd reason he went down to one loyalty when I made, made him a Commissioner of Finance. So apparently they don't like that, but they like being commissioned to everything else, from what I can tell. By the way, when I said uh, because they can do it, because they seem to like everything else, it's because I played a, I did my own personal campaign after this playing as Yuasegi, which I think I might do next, even though they're arguably the hardest clan in the game. Even though that might be true early game, that's not the case when it comes to Realm Divide, and that's specifically why I might go with them. The Oda are still fighting back. I, I really do think that the biggest mistake that they made this game, the Hattori and Oda made a big mistake going against each other. If they'd stay, if they allied with each other and they fought against the Takeda and Hojo, then they would be doing much better even though they have a lot less provinces, specifically because the Takeda are still dealing with the Date. These samurai are lethal to infantry and cavalry units, but weak against missile troops. Okay, I could have sworn that's like the second or like third time seeing that. I get a little bit worried food-wise by upgrading all my castles and markets. Solar schools have at least the ability to make Katana Samurai, even though I don't think I'm going to use them. Ideally, you want to put like, you want to go like, like four, like four or six Katana Samurai on the side, or Naganata Samurai on the side with like a few in the, with like Katana Samurai in the middle. But I think I'll just go pure Naganata Samurai. It'll be easier to control that way. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure if I actually just if I actually said why I personally prefer Daiki Samurai over um, Warrior Monks. Especially since the Chosen Copy have improved Warrior Monks. So I think I'll explain that in a second. Just scouting out the armies that they have. So, so Chutsukabe Daikyu Samurai have 55 accuracy, 35 reload skill, and pretty solid uh, melee stats. In fact, it doesn't show melee defense, which is weird. Oh no, here it does down here. So 3 melee defense, 6 melee attack, 6 charge bonus, 8 morale, and 4 armor. Now, it is better in multiplayer because they have more armor and they win against but warrior monks but even in single player they're better for a few different reasons first of all they're a decent chunk cheaper they cost 150 upkeep whereas bow warrior monks which I can't even tell from here it's kind of dumb bow warrior monks cost I think 200 Yeah, 200, and that's for the Chosukabe, so they're even more expensive than that. They have, Chosukabe have 70 accuracy, 60 reload skill, and 30 ammunition. 
12 morale, which is pretty huge. But as you can see there, melee stats are very poor. So higher upkeep uh, takes longer to recruit them because you have to go all the way down here and here, where as a Daiki Samurai you just need to go here. And even though it might seem like the Chosukabe Daiki Samurai have um, 55 accuracy, they actually have 60 default because it's not possible to recruit them without a hunting lodge, which provides plus 5 accuracy. So they actually have the, norm the same accuracy as Chosukabe or as normal bow warrior monks. And even though their reload skill is pretty poor, it doesn't ultimately make too much of a difference. And the melee strength is something that people really don't understand how useful it is, not only when it comes to things like being flanked by cavalry, which is pretty hard to make sure it doesn't happen in this game because the AI is pretty smart in that regard. Unless you put your archers up front, then they'll just charge right into your line when you retreat them back. But specifically in siege battles, there you're not gonna no matter you have you have to have like like eight bow warrior monks with like 90 accuracy that's how much experience they would have to have in order to make sure that they can't get to the walls it's very likely there's going to be at least a few guys getting to the walls and even if they have just like 40 50 katana samurai they're going to kill all your bow warrior monks so daiki samurai can shred the enemy and when they climb up the walls they're just dead to melee so their versatility is very um underrated they're better in every single way other than pure archer power. But the thing is, even in pure archer power, it's not that big a difference, especially when they get experience. Like, these guys have five ex have a five experience, and they have 70 accuracy, 45 reload skills. So they're just as good as normal uh, bow warrior monks. Just gotta be bow warrior monks. But look at their melee stats. They can, comf they can semi comfortably take on samurai units with that once they whittle them down. So. I think I'm in a position where I can end it. I feel like... Okay, nope, I put both links in there. Thought I didn't. I've got to move these guys up, though. I did that with... Yeah, I did that with those guys. So I'm getting this full samurai army going. Now that place does have naval traditions, I believe. Yeah, it has a pirate slayer there. Yeah, and down here is the artisan's building, so I'm not going to be able to take that building. I'm pretty sure I won't enter Realm Divide if I take that province. But I don't really want to risk it. Either way, let's end the turn. Oh, the Oda are fighting back. They have a full stack that's going around just taking all the Hojo. Yeah, playing the Yusegi on Hojo, Yusegi clan on like normal difficulty is kind of like hard with the Chos with uh, some of the other clans. Maybe not so much just Chos Choskabe because dealing with naval invasions can be incredibly annoying. Is that what I think it is? Yep, it is. You've got to be kidding me. Blossack. Squirrels climbing on my window right behind me. <laughs> so, if you guys didn't watch the uh, last video or one of my past videos, I've got squirrels that eat out of my bird feeder. They climb up it and they eat from my bird feeder. Yet now they've taken it to a new level by scratching up my window. <laughs> They're just crazy. <laughs> and they will just not stop. I think I've scouted far enough forward. I'm going to bring mine in just back. Let's get a little bit farther. For, for, farther. <laughs> farther forth. Farther forth. <laughs> oh my god, I need to... I just need to stop. I need to stop. 
some non clan religion there. Got to deal with. Okay. Doesn't matter that I forgot to exempt them because I'm getting loads of money as it is. Now let me think of my army again. This is six. I think I'm gonna go with eight Daiku Samurai. Okay, now I think I'm gonna go with seven Daiku Samurai. Okay. So general, that means I have space for 19 guys. If I go with nine Daiku Samurai, I'm gonna have to go with 11 Nagana Samurai. I think I might wanna have a bit of a higher infantry to bow ratio. So I think I'll go 7, 11, which is a total of two guys remaining because of the general. 7, 10. I think 7, 10 is going to be a better mixture. I think I'll go 7 Daiki Samurai, 10 Nagana Samurai, general. So 7, 10. Now that, that, no, that leaves me with two, actually, because that's 18 total, including the general. Six. I think maybe six, nine, or six, ten, and then have three, the four cavalry, I think. I think I'll go with six, nine, so I have a decent chunk of area to cover my sides. But I also have enough for two bow cav and two yari cav to deal with any cavalry they might have, so I don't need that many infantry. Which means I could go for seven, eight if I wanted to. He's got to start off with one experience, so they start off with a default of 72 accuracy, which is quite insane. That's already better than just Kabe Bow Warrior Monks. Or def default, at least. They would obviously be getting even more buffs here. But they also get better melee. Yeah, they, they. I could just make pure Daiku Samurai if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Because they can kill any uh, Samurai unit with their archers. That they'll have like 20 or 30 remaining, and then their melee prowess is good enough to kill the rest. realize how big the, Ho the Hojo's Navy was. Okay, this is almost done. I'm thinking... I think I might go either Owatakebune or Nihon Maru. I'm just gonna call him Maru, because... I know how to pronounce that because of StarCraft 2. Um, there is a limit to how many of this level of ship you can make. So I think maybe two of the Marus, then like four heavy Bune, which leaves me with four remaining, which I'll put for medium Bune, or Sengoku Bune. I think I'll go medium Bune. I'm a little annoyed to show you how many with the ratio of, arch of the crew of archers. It just shows the crew number rather than the number of archers to... Oh, I think... Okay, I think... No. There's a parenthesis. Maybe that's the same for archers and melee, but that wouldn't be the case because Sengoku Bune has, has a lot more melee than archers. I can do two of each. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll think about it. I'll do it later. I'm 
going to do something I've actually never done before. I'm going to send one unit just over here to see if I can see how many see their army. They got a small force building up, but that's about it. It's not going to be anything to deal with this, that's for sure. Okay, not exempting anywhere. Move both my ninjas, right? Yep. Oof. Okay, I am very tempted here. I am very, very tempted here. This is really worrisome because I, I don't usually play with Realm Divide, but I'm gonna take the, this risk. Okay, you would like sometimes gotta get to keep some guys back. That's fine though. Okay, let's take this province because that's the last province to have. So I'll have no. I'll have. I'll be at war with no one, and then right when realm, when realm divide triggers, I'll declare war on everyone. Okay, that's armies. That army is still easily big enough to take them out. Given where the bar is at, I'm pretty sure like the bar will show us like completely full when you have one province left before realm divide. So I think it's. 18, or it's, it's 18 is the last you can do. So I think 19 is, once you take your 19th province, I think that's when it triggers. <laughs> All the way down to, now down below, uh, For some reason, I couldn't even click it there. Okay, yeah, this army got big pretty quick. I'm not sure that I got happy so quickly. One way or another, I'll move some more of my guys in to match their total guys. Still at one loyalty, which has me worried. Okay, he has the most loyalty, so let's make him supply. Or development. Which didn't increase his loyalty, that bugged me. Stripped of commission. Upstart generals. So this is really worrisome if he betrays me, but I am still building this up this army that is eventually going to become quite big, and we'll, we can easily deal with anything they have. Yes, <laughs> now the Bow Cavalry have 75 default accuracy. Bow Cavalry is definitely an underrated unit in this game, and it's underrated because of how terrible their overall like damage is. But yeah, let's see a laugh at that. See a laugh at 75 accuracy Bokev. I actually just watched uh, an episode of uh, Bats Battles where it kind of looks like Shogun 2, but like the units are all just like boxes. And he actually talked about one of the most important fights that happened right around here. Let's do a little bit of a loop around. If I pronounce bats battles wrong, if it's not bats or if it's bads or whatever, 
Uh, I apologize. <laughs> it's B-A-Z. I'm not sure how he personally uh, says it. Uh, I don't want to trade with you because you're at war with so many people. <laughs> I'm still jaw drop the dot here in it. They've been completely encircled by the for the by the Takeda for like what feels like 60 turns. I could just auto resolve this. Which I feel like I should because these videos are kind of getting longer, but this is a big enough battle to the point where this is probably what people want to see, so I'll do it anyways. Even though I'll easily just crush them. Especially since they're attacking me, so I'm going to be able to play defensive with my bows, even though I don't actually have too many bows. I honestly might want to move towards him a little bit to this open area so I don't have my back to a hill. Just have these guys come around behind. Have these guys kind of just kind of bait their arrow fire. Definitely could have thought of this one a little better. Our units coming. So let's get out of there. Routed one archer unit. Turtle wasn't quite able to kill him. But honestly, I'm honestly surprised I was able to get almost any as much damage as I did on him. Yeah, look at this. I, they ran into a total of one of my air units. That's it. Yep, and they've all routed.
unit are these guys even chasing? You can't even see these units because of the snow. Okay, now they're dead. At this point, I don't even really need to do this because all you have to do is kill a massive amount and they pretty much have no chance of living. Don't remember that guy chasing at someone. Okay, I double clicked there. Why aren't you running? This happens so many times. Apparently blocking one of my trade nodes will instantly get cut off all my income. <laughs> Talk about perfect time for Metsuke to go up rank. Even though this rank doesn't really matter. He's done in our room divide. Okay, so there is a little movie that plays when you enter realm divide. And the fact that it didn't play makes me think that it ultimately what didn't happen. However, it is still possible. are now completely dead and that ultimately saved my income massively but it didn't alter but the income that right now right now doesn't really matter because I have just so much money yeah see this is what I'm talking about you can see it just a tiny bit of sliver of white so the next province hey, the 19th province I'm gonna take it's gonna cause me an enter Rome divide okay so the, the Hattori have two and they're allied these guys, which have five. And their enemies, Takeda Batake, or Takeda Batake, Kikawari, Kikawara, 
which have five, allied to a pseudo, which have one, like they always do. Same with these guys, who always have one. Hanma, surprisingly, have not invaded anywhere in this game. Usually they invade these provinces up here with the Date, with the Date currently control. Hoja have ten, which I just realized is massively separated. In fact, they got a rebel settlement. Takeda... Wait, they're allied? Oh yeah, they're allied. It's What's confusing to me is how do the Hojo... First of all, they have a rebel settlement here. Just a random se rebel settlement. And then they got three provinces here deep in enemy territory. Okay, so how close are these? Not that close. I think I'm going to go with four medium bunes. So four heavy bunes, four medium bunes. I could go f two and then two is sing... Goku Bune. I think I might do that. Yeah, I think I might go see. Yeah, I'll do that, and then I might might go for two medium Bunes. And then two Maros. That's my plan. Yeah, this army is almost ready. So I've got eight Daiku Samurai. Eight Daiki Samurai. So my hand's already kind of forced, so I didn't really think about that well. So, eight Daiki Samurai. So I'm going to need at least nine Nagana Samurai. So that's four, three, seven, eight with the general. So, I think I might go nine Nagana Samurai, and then. Get maybe a Yari Cav and a Bokav, or well, I'm already getting two Bokav, so I might as well go with it. It's not that balanced of an army. Definitely could be better, but it's not too bad. Don't want this to be too long, though. Thankfully today I can record another one after this because they are going to be coming home late from church. Because they're taking my uh, niece and nephew out to a little bouncy house. This ship carries a huge crew for boarding the tugs. It is, however, hard to maneuver and vulnerable to enemy fire. As how most things are with that. But unlike um, Smash, Bro Smash Bros, uh, heavy characters uh, in this game are actually pretty good. Shout out to Smash Ultimate, by the way. Don't actually have a Switch, but I think I might possibly get one sometime soon because of Smash Ultimate. And yeah, I know, for me personally, the system seller is not Breath of the Wild, it's actually Smash Ultimate. That's how it was with uh, the Wii U as well. I found the Wii U's gimmick kind of just weird, but then when Smash 4 came out and saw all the improvements to Brawl, I, was, I jumped on the train. Now, I can actually c recruit some Nagana Samurai here soon enough. What I could do is take out some of the RA Ishigaru here and put in two Bokab, but it's already hard enough managing these four light cavalry, let alone six cavalry units. Honestly, I can put the Bokev in this unit, in this group because I'm getting surprisingly close to a stack here. This place also has an armory now. See, so yeah, I can start making them here too. See, so yeah, I'm actually gonna get get the amount I need a little quicker than I thought. If I go with eight Daiki Samurai, and I want to go full defensive. I could get 12? No, 11, I think. 11 Nagana Samurai. I could do that. And just not focus on my green my cab, which will make, make it less likely to make a mistake. So I could do that. So now I got two close by ninjas. 
Hunters are really good for scouting inf information on what other clans are doing, but at the same time, they're also very good at just sabotaging armies. I th honestly think that the most important thing about ninjas is just being able to just go near an army and get full information on every single unit they have, so you know how they're going to play. I personally find that more useful than sabotaging armies. Don't get me wrong, on higher difficulties, sabotaging armies is like a must-needed thing, but just knowing exactly what their army looks like and knowing how to build, so, so you know how to build your army to counter it, that's very, very important. Eight Daiki Samurai. I'm not gonna ask Samurai, plus a general that leaves two space for Yari Cav if I want to. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go the bow cavalry I made, I can use that for this army I'm building over here. That's mainly a Shigaru. And I could put bow cav in it. I can have nine Agana Samurai to tank arrows. Then I can have eight Daiku Samurai, and then two Yari Cav to deal with any cav they might have. And charge in the back of their um, units. I'll wait for the armor, though, even though armor with cav isn't necessarily that useful. It can be useful here and there against archers. Because I'm going to do one after this, I'm going to pass the turn finish my research here and then I'll end the video and make one after this because I don't want this video to be too long and it's already probably quite long as it is. I wish there was a way you could check while playing how long the recording has been going on for. Upgrade a bunch to dry docks. This one over here is the important one, though. That actually cost me all of my money. Yeah, I feel that was kind of inevitable. Okay, yeah. See, this is what I was talking about. Knowing exactly what army they have. They have all bow samurai, katana samurai. I mean, this looks like the garrison of Kyoto here <laughs> that's moving out. Oh, yeah, I forgot you can actually move down here. You can actually move surprisingly fast because there's a road through the forest, which I think that's the only province in the entire game that has a road through the forest. <laughs> Forget about this, actually. I could go with this to get some siege weapons with improved accuracy, but that's not really not worth it in this game. I think the big thing about siege weapons is that CA probably CA probably thought like we have to make them insanely bad because if they were too strong, if they were like really accurate, they would be like overpowered, especially since they can force you to to attack even when you're the attacker. But that's not actually really the case because they move so slowly on the campaign map. Even if they did have like 40 plus accuracy than they do now, it still would be fine because of the fact that, because of just how long it takes for you to move them around. <laughs> okay, so let me do a count. Two, 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 so that's six. Eight, ten. So ten plus eight. I can have one cab unit if I want to, which I think that sounds about right. Or I can cancel it. Cancel one of these guys. Or I can cancel two. No, I'm not gonna cancel two, but I can cancel one and go for two Yari Cav. 
or I cannot cancel any and go for one Yari Cav. I'm gonna cancel one and go for two Yari Cav. So base some units around, charge into the enemy arrows. So these provinces are undefended. Plus 2% per percent running speed for all units is quite useful. This is actually surprisingly useful, given how my income's dropped and how if they blockade me once, I'm pretty much out of income. The big thing here is, isn't so much getting like insane accuracy from my archer units, it's more so getting the next level of farming. So I can make a bunch more upgraded castles and markets to improve my income massively. The problem is that takes 20 turns, where this takes 13 and I'm getting very close to Realm Divide. So pretty much around the time I hit Realm Divide, that's when these research, researches are going to finish. The question is which one is more useful. I'm leaning towards form because I'm not going to make any of the hero. Um, probably I might make maybe one or two hero cavalry in this game, but probably not. This is semi-useful. But I'm debating is if it is it really that useful. Okay, <laughs> wanna make sure I didn't forget that. Okay, I'm good enough there now that I can move this guy up. So yeah, slowly but surely dealing with the non clan religion. None there. I don't think there's any down here. Yep, none down there. Two here, with a monk there. One here that's almost gone, so I'm gonna be able to move that guy up. Over here. Yeah, I think I'm good to just end the turn here. And end the episode. Yeah, that's it. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. The next episode will be the last episode before I hit Realm Divide.